All right, we're outside with this 1974 MGB. We just took a nice drive. Uh, again, um, what was so wonderful about this car is the suspension works. All the lights work. The oil pressure stayed up. It ran cool. It's a hot day. It ran cool. Nice Southern California car. Not rusty. We're going to put it up on the lift for you. Um, we'd like to point out all the nice body gaps on the car how nice and flush the doors hang all the body tr trim is straight on the sides there's no pitting in the chrome hood fit is nice We can see how nice the trim is down the side. How nice the gaps are. And how flush the doors fit. These are normally bondoed up areas. You can see the original pressed spots, steel pressed spots in the wheel well openings. Uh, deck lid is not bowed up here where they normally get bowed from people pushing them down. This gap is good. Nice chrome back here. All the lenses are in nice shape. Nice luggage rack. No cracks on the dash. All the gauges are good. Nice wood steering wheel. Sun visors are in good shape. Seats are nice. Top is like brand new. It's a rust prone area. This is not, again, it's a Southern California car, so rust is really not a not a topic here. Door cards are good. Trunk area is clean, it's not rusty see down in here they show rust down in here if it's a Midwest car see how dry that is and again how flush the door the door is here nice interior we'll take it inside now and put it on All right, I want you to first note that we're at operating temperature and oil pressure is up Rev it a little bit, and the oil goes up. All right, and the temperature is cool, and it's a very hot day. Here we go. Synchros are good. Transmission is not loud. eye level on the 74 MGB uh, you can see it as a Southern California car and it has the earmarks of that climate everywhere you look and you start out the front and you notice how nice the uh, lenses are 
And then look at this chrome. There's no pitting, no scratches. It's a nice MGB. Grill's nice. Body hood gaps are nice. Emblem's bright red as it should be. It's not sun faded. Look down the sides of this car, it's very straight. The doors fit nice, and the reason is the car is not a bondoed up car. Not full of putty, not full of rust. Uh, the pressed um, welds, uh, I'll show you in another wheel well opening. I'll show on everyone. Chrome wheels are good. Again, we want to show you uh, nice body gaps. Tires are deep and tread. There's a nice thing. See how flush this door fits all the way up. These moldings are in nice shape. Here, this one's got a, a ding here, but in the, for the most part, they're in really good condition. Paint's in good condition. Here again are the press welds from the factory. Back bumper's in good shape, not pitted. A lot of times the heat from the exhaust will create uh, pitting on the bumpers. This one's not the case. Look how nice the overriders are. This is cheap metal, it's usually pop metal. It uh, looks bad in a very short time. These are in good condition. Uh, gaps in the trunk is all nice. Cars ever an MGB especially if it's ever been hit in the rear uh, that deck lid uh, gap is not good look at that even the gas filler cap is in good condition reverse light lenses in nice shape tail light lenses in nice shape here's a little rock chip here one here uh, again spot welds here hopefully you, the camera will pick them up maybe back here there you go uh, moldings are good on this side, but the driver's side one has a number of little pits. Of course, those are very inexpensive and easy to put on. I probably would not even replace that one because you don't see it, except for up here on the lift. Again, flush doors. Don't see that very often in MGBs. Uh, the gaps are here on the rocker panels, the seams. See, it's a very straight car. We'll take it off. All right, here we are on the underside. Uh, one of the first things I note, it does have a torn boot in the rack. That's big enough and open enough. One would probably want to replace that. This one's in good shape. All these bushings look like they're in pretty good shape. There you go, they're not cracked, not broken down. Now you're gonna see some oil leakage. It's a British car, that's typical. This one's probably never been cleaned up. But again, we want to really focus on the rust or lack of. Drain portholes in the frames. Actually, these don't have frames, but these are drain, drain uh, spots. Jack points are solid. These drain spots are open. Inner rocker panels are solid. Floorboards, of course, are very good. Jack points solid over here. These are rust prone areas. This one's got a um, spider web right here. But these are rust prone areas up back here. This is normally where MGBs are full of putty. Uh, that's a box and it fills up with uh, debris and rust through the years and almost 90% of them, those are either been repaired or need to be repaired. This one's not. Good solid car. Good tires all the way around. Nice, nice deep tread. Looks like it's had a replacement uh, tank. And a nice exhaust. There it is. Good solid MGB.